Hey everybody, John here, and welcome to my series, How to Use Citrus. This video is part seven, and we're gonna dive into the articulator section of Citrus. So without further ado, let's open up Citrus, and let's click here at the top right and hit the default preset. So let's go over to the first operator, if it's not selected for you, and take a look here at this top row. So this is gonna be the articulator section we're gonna be going through in this video except this OSC, this oscillator tab, which is the harmonic editor. We're gonna go over that in the following video. So this first one here is gonna be pan, which is pretty self-explanatory, I hope, and this is going to pan uh, left and right, depending on uh, how, what, what type of envelope or envelope editor that you decide to use for that. So the next video, I'm also going to uh, go over the envelope editor here and kind of show you how all this stuff works but for something quick so we have this first operator here and we're in the pan and we have a select this envelope so let's turn this on and turn the tempo on and let's say for example this is going to be half a bar and we hit a note and it's going to go let's try it like this first let's delete these two here so it's a little bit more simplistic so this will pan to the left and to the right because here we're in the pan section and this envelope, we're basically drawing what we want this pan to do. So if we do it pretty quick, we can see that it goes from left to right because anything below the middle line is going to be for the left channel or the left speaker. Anything above the middle line is going to be for the right speaker. So it goes left to right. So if we want to go right to left, we would just invert that line. So we can control it with an envelope, or we can also control it with an LFO. So for example, let's delete that here and let's drag this up so it's pretty drastically annoying. And let's turn this on, turn on tempo, and let's kind of scroll out just here a little bit there. I don't know why, I did, oh, I selected here. So let's uh, back to operator one to our LFO. Let's scroll out again so we can see it. All right. So, why does it keep doing that? That's really weird. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. So if we hit a key, we can see that kind of oscillating to the left and to the right. We can go slower, or we can go really fast. So that's basically what this first pan does, and these options here to uh, describe what you, how you want that pan to work. So let's turn this off for now and then go into the volume. So this is gonna be essentially the, the volume of this operator and how you want that to function. So your typical envelope here, if you want a sharp attack and then like a pluck, this is how you would turn that on and affect the volume. Or we'll drag this up here, have a really long release so the note sticks around for a while. And that's a volume section right there. So let's go ahead and delete some of that. And let's draw a new one down here. And then again, kind of like for a pluck. And that's a volume section here. And then moving on, we have the mod section here. And this is gonna be the modulation influence. This defines the amount of modulation influence that other operators will have on the current one that you have selected. So the graph at the bottom is going to be no modulation and the graph at the top is going to be the maximum modulation. Next up, we have a pitch section here and you can use an envelope or an LFO or any of this stuff to define how the pitch is changed or moved or edited. So if we have this, this standard kind of envelope here, uh, this is kind of what the sound we're going to hear. So it starts bottom here, it rises up in pitch and then it decays in pitch. And we can see that this shape is very similar to the shape that we see up here as well. And we can also use this pitch envelope to really make that drastic. Let's so alt click and bring that back to the default. I think it's option click on a Mac, although I'm not entirely sure. So let's turn this off here. And then we have the phase. And a really cool trick that uh, I found out in the manual is if you use select this phase 
and then select LFO, turn on this pencil tool, delete this default stuff there, and then drag this up and then increase the speed a little bit and then you get a vibrato. So let's say you want this vibrato to not start so abrupt, but kind of fade in. We'll have this point here in the center, and then we'll dr drag another point here. Let's keep this tempo locked. And then let's drag this up and then adjust this tension handle here. So it'll fade into a vibrato. And you can mess around with these controls here to kind of adjust the, how the LFO looks. And then let's say we want to fade this out so it doesn't always stay a vibrato. We can just put another point there. And then we just get a little bit of that, uh, that vibrato there. So let's turn that off. And then next up we have damp. And this is only going to be working if we have this pluck section going. So we should probably change that to a saw wave so we have harmonics to work with. And then down in here is where we're going to be able to edit the uh, the dampening of the uh, of the pluck there. So essentially, with this only having uh, to do with this pluck having that on, this is only going to work. And looking at the graph at the very very bottom, it's going to be a hundred percent dampening. And then the graph with the value all the way at the top is going to be no dampening at all, as if it weren't uh, on. So. Next up was this oscillator tab, and there's a lot to go over in this tab especially, so I'm going to make a separate video, the next video for this, and we're going to dive into this, and we're going to look into how do we, how do we create typical waveforms of different sounds, and kind of a little bit of an introduction to additive synthesis as opposed to subtra subtractive synth synth synthesis. God, that's a hard word to say sometimes. But yeah, so hopefully you guys have learned something a little bit uh, following the oscillator section we're going to dive into this envelope lfo key mapping velocity mapping all that all these bottom tabs in the video after that so we can have a better understanding of how we change these articulators with different types of controls so thank you very much for watching if you like the video be sure to hit like and then also subscribe for more content and i hope to see you in the next video